Hello, the following is a really simple guide on how to use the iOS shortcut app and Airtable to quickly store data. Uh, this is a really helpful thing that you can use uh, even with your Apple Watch to quickly make notes and store them in a database, uh, which is ac ac accessible everywhere. So the first thing you need to do is to just create the Airtable account, which I uh, uh, have done here, as you can see, this is just a dummy account that I'm using, so don't bother trying to hack it. Okay, so I'm not going to go through how to make an Airtable account, but this is how it looks when you just created it. So the first thing you do in here is we need to create a base. We do this by just hitting the create and let's give it a name, uh, quick notes, and we have a table here, go away. Uh, like so let's ca call it notes you don't have to change this but and i'm just going to delete uh, these like so uh for notes it's nice to know when they were created so you can just make uh, a field that uh, has create time like so i like the iso formatting like that so uh, th then your notes will be automatically time stamped i'm just going to delete the ones we're not going to use. So uh, the next thing we need to do is just create a sample record. And this is um, uh, helpful later when we're looking at the API uh, reference or documentations. So let's just say the dog needs a groom, whatever. And you can have a status here if you want to, like, to do. Uh, like so. The next thing you need to do is generate an API key you do this in the account settings so you just go over here to the account up there account and then you just generate an api key like so okay you can just close this one uh, the next thing we need to do is to go to the api uh, documentation this can be done by just googling like so airtable api or rest you go into it like this so let's just go into the one we just created like so and we go to the notes table oops uh, like so and we're going to create a record and here we can see what we need to uh, to to post to our base but let's leave that for now now we are going to start creating the shortcut as you can see i already have one a new shortcut here and the first action we want is ask for input so what's on your mind this is just a simple uh, simple way to get a prompt for a text. The next thing we're going to need, we're going to uh, create a JSON. That's a way of formatting date, the data to pass through the internet. We do this with a text field, and then we're going to use the text uh, like so. This is the formatting you need. So as you can see, if we go into quick notes here, then this is how Airtable wants the data to be formatted when you send a request to them. If you change this name here, you're going to have to change this. But basically what you're telling, uh, hello, I'm sending you a bunch of records, well, only one, and then you just format it like a key value pair, like so. Uh, we're creating a record with the fields where name is foobar, but foobar is very helpful. So we are going to input the uh, the text that we entered up he uh, here when we first ran the shortcut, like so. Okay, and then we just need to create uh, uh, con uh, the URL request, like so. Uh, this is wrong because if you look into the into the documentation now, then you can see that uh, this is the URL that we should use. So we just copy this part here, paste it in here, like so. And then it also wants some headers and uh, we need to change it to post request. And then we add the headers. It wants two headers. The first one is the identification or authorization for our accounts. So you can just show the API uh, key straight in this document. Don't bother trying to uh, use this because I'm going to delete the, all of this uh, before I post the video. So authorization bearer and the content type is application JSON. 
So, we're, and then we're just going to jam the file or the text input that we created earlier into the body. And then we need to create a Siri friendly name because if you want to use it on our iPhone or our Apple Watch, then you can just read out the shortcut name and it will run it. But uh, Siri is a bit finicky. So if you, for, uh, for instance, say Airtable to Siri, she usually parses it as uh, Airtable. So it's not going to work if you say Airtable. Make quick note. I think that's going to be Siri. Mm. Oh. I made a typo, like so. Mm, what's on your mind? Blah, blah. And like so. And we'll go into the database. I can see it, it works. So I can run it again. Hello there. Bloop. And it's into the base. And you can see with timestamp. Uh, on the Apple Watch, once we set it up like we did on the iPad or the iPhone, you can just uh, ask Siri to run the shortcut by calling its name. Make a quick note. What's on your mind? This is not a test. Done. Like that. Now it's added to the base. Also, uh, so you don't need to do anything to set it up. If you just name the uh, shortcut something Siri friendly, then you can just say that name and it's going to run. You can also run it uh, by clicking on the mouse, by clicking so and make a quick note. And if we, and then it then uh, asks us how we want to input the data and you can just dictate, but you can also like do the scribble thing like so and just like, by pi, for instance. The last way to quickly access your shortcut is with uh, your iPhone. And of course, you can do the same thing as you did on your Apple Watch by just calling out the name to Siri, or you can add a widget or something like that to your uh, home screen. Uh, I think another really awesome feature is to just call the shortcut by tapping the back of the phone because there's a setting. If you go to settings and accessibility, and touch and if you go all the way down uh, tap the back side i'm sorry for the norwegian but it's uh, yeah it's what it is and then you can do, uh, do a double tap on the back of the phone and make that run shortcuts so if you just add uh, uh, make a quick note like so and if you're on the home screen now you can just double tap the back uh, of the phone like so and what's on your mind and then you can blah 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 run it and it's going to be added to the to the database